What is up YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys are not a subscriber already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today, I have something very exciting for you guys. We are gonna be discussing the brand new LS500 from Epson. You guys know that it is our mission to put a home theater in every single home around America. And you know we've been doing home theaters for the last 10 years and have shown you guys tons of very unique setups, but the ultra short throw game is going to change things up. You know I've been doing a lot of home theaters in living room type situations. Well, with ultra short throw projection, you can literally just throw a projector at the front of the room on a stand and broadcast onto the wall, giving you that big screen TV experience. So it's easy and it's semi-affordable. We got different price options and we're gonna get into all the different manufacturers that we carry. Today's video is specifically about Epson. I'm gonna be bringing the Epson reps on the line today and we're gonna discuss what makes the LS500 so special. Hope you guys are ready. If you would like to purchase, make sure to reach out and show your support. We have nationwide free shipping and the lowest price guaranteed. Let's go. What is up YouTube? This is Zach and we are now on our Zoom meeting. I got Mark. He is responsible for the marketing strategy at Epson America. And I also have Kellen. Say what's up, Kellen. How's it going guys? Hey Zach. Kellen, uh, before we hand it over to Mark on the introduction of this LS500, can you give our subscribers a little bit of backstory or an introduction into what we're going to be doing for them on this series of videos? Yeah, thanks, Zach. So our, our ambition with this is ultra short throw. Uh, we feel like is going to be a big player in the game. So uh, what other way to have some of the best uh, products out on the market? So we have the LS500 with Epson. Uh, we have some of the competitors as well, but uh, that's why you guys need to subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing tons of shootouts on not just the ultra short throw projectors themselves, uh, going head to head, what makes them great, uh, things like that. But we're also going to be doing some different screen materials. You know, do you need a screen? We're going to get into a lot of that stuff on the channel coming up soon. Uh, so I hope you guys are excited for that because... Uh, I get to have all these toys in, in, into the area and I get to finally play with them and see, you know, what makes them great, what makes some things better than others, but we're going to get into all of that. So, uh, yeah. Looking yeah, this forward is to a very exciting topic, guys, and Kellen is going to be the man in command of uh, shooting all of these and giving you that real honest opinion as to what he thinks about all of these products. So subscribe to the channel, guys. All right, over to you, Mark. Can you just give us a quick introduction on the LS500 and what makes it so special? Yeah, yeah, thanks, Jack. Um, you know, we're real excited about the LS500 laser projection TV. It's kind of a, a new product for Epson. The idea of taking an ultra short throw laser projector and pairing it with a very special type of screen, an ambient light rejecting screen um, to deliver an everyday TV experience on a really big epic scale. You know, today's TVs, you probably can only go to about maybe an 88 inch. I've seen some coming up close to 90 inches, but if you want a 100 inch or 120 inch everyday TV in your home, I'm talking about a TV that does everything a normal TV would do, but at a big epic size, you know, up to 120 inches. This new Epson laser projection TV um, product we have made where it comes with the projector and the screen to make this happen is really something special, something unique, and it's catching the attention of a lot of audio video enthusiasts. Well, I'll tell you what, we're really excited to offer this to our clients. Uh, like I stated in the introduction, uh, we've been doing home theater for a long time, and this actually could be utilized in a home theater space as well if you just want to make it easy. Yeah, and that's true. Laser light source, you don't even have to worry about a bulb, but this is solving a lot of situations like living rooms where you do want a massive screen, um, but you can't get wiring over there, or maybe the you know a projector in that price range just isn't even bright enough. It's not the correct solutions. Do you guys have really... Um, created a solution to a problem and, and we're excited. Can you tell our clients about uh, what the configuration uh, options are available? Yeah, yeah, you brought up a good point. It's, it's, it's about brightness, right? Uh, one of the unique things about Epson 3 chip, 3 LCD tech, uh, is that we don't compromise on the white and color brightness. So remember, this product is pushing 4,000 lumens right up against the wall, and then you add to that a unique screen that enhances the light 
And that is why this is unique among pretty much any other ultra short throw product as a TV type product. But to answer your question specifically, you can buy Epson's LS500 laser projection um, projector by itself, or you can buy it bundled with Epson's own ambient light rejecting screen. So that screen is available in two sizes, a 100 inch or a 120 inch. You pick the screen size, and then the projector itself um, can be chosen on the color. You can go with an all white projector, which blends into some decor a little bit better than the all black version of the projector. So there are four SKUs of the bundle, which includes the LS500 laser TV and a 100 or 120 inch screen, and of course, you can get the projector then in white or black. And then of course, you can buy the projector by itself, uh, white or black. And you can even buy our screens now, the actual ambient light rejecting screen that we're selling in the bundle. We're now selling those two screens. We call them Silverflex. It's a brand new type of screen that we have made. It's a very cool technology. Um, and you can buy the 100 inch and 120 inch screen on its own as well and kind of configure your own system if you'd like. Awesome. So I know everybody out there is thinking, how important is this screen? Is it worth it? Um, and can you also yeah. kind of hit on some of the price points so people know uh, the price range that we're talking about here? Well, prices will change based on the time of this YouTube video, but if you were to pay full price, um, you can buy the 100 inch SKU regardless if it's white or a black uh, projector. Uh, by the way, I should say it all, these SKUs, these bundle SKUs come in one box. You get one big box, it comes with the screen and the projector, one SKU, one box. Uh, and the 100 inch model is $49.99, $5,000. Um, and then the 120 inch is $6,000, $59.99. You can buy the projector by itself for $4,000, it's $39.99. Um, and you can buy the, in, the individual screens from Epson, our ambient light rejected screen that we call Silverflex. The Silverflex 100 inch screen, I believe, Charlie, you may correct me if I'm wrong, I believe we've decided to launch that screen at $2,000. And then I think it's $3,000 for the 120 inch screen. Those screens are pretty expensive, they're pretty high tech. Um, they're for people who want the ultimate high end, and again, it's a true a lenticular, um, ambient light rejecting screen. They're absolutely beautiful with a thin bezel. So obviously if you do math, it's a lot cheaper to buy the Epson bundle because Epson bundles the two together. Yeah, the it's a lot cheaper. I wanted you to hit on the price points, Mark, is because although we're talking five and six grand, even for a hundred inch or a 90 inch TV, we're at a very, very attractive price point. I mean, this thing's a steal per inch um, and you get that huge, beautiful imaging up there on the wall. I saw this thing at Cedia uh, yeah. whenever you guys were first um, introducing it. And I was pretty impressed it, just seeing it in that huge uh, auditorium with massive overhead lighting. It still looked incredible. You guys gotta check out that YouTube video that I made if you haven't seen it already. Yeah, the, the overall performance of this new laser projection TV when you have it with the screen, it, it is, it's very impressive. Now. Is it as impressive as today's latest OLEDs or LCDs or QLEDs? No. I think the black performance of those still beat projection any day. But the quality of Epson's LS500 with our screen when you combine it is so good that when you combine that with the size of 100 or 120, you kind of realize, oh my God, I want the size over that super black that I might be getting with an OLED or LCD. because. The size is extremely impressive. <laughs> when you are able to watch live TV, uh, and during the time this is being shot, you know, um, you know the Rams, I'm an LA guy, so the Rams didn't make it in, but I'm a huge Brady fan. Maybe I shouldn't say that, it would mess up the video. But I'm a huge Tom Brady fan. So the fact that he's gonna be playing against Mahomes, this is gonna be an epic Super Bowl for me. And to be able to watch it at my house on a 100 inch screen at 4K with HDR on it, it, it is awesome. You know, it, it, the brightness is more than enough um, and the blacks are well more than enough, especially for live TV. And on a screen that big, it is, it is a completely different experience. So I think that's what makes this unique and will make Dream Media customers think, wow, you know what? That is really cool. I mean, you have to really see how big a 100 inch is, by the way, it's massive. And a 120 is even bigger. <laughs> People don't realize how big a 100-inch TV is in their home. It is, it is awesome. 
Awesome. Yeah. All right, well, I got one more question for you, Mark, and that's what makes this LS500 different? You know, we're all about being authentic, giving re real reviews, and just comparing these products uh, side by side, whether it's speakers, receivers, projectors. We've been doing this for years now, and our customers really find value in that honest opinion. So we're gonna be bringing on other competitors like the Baba and the Samsung. So can you tell us what, what makes the LS500 different? Yeah, that's a good question. And, and one of the things that we really like about Zach, the way you do a lot of your reviews and, and, and Kellen is very honest reviews. You know, We want you to be open and review the product the way you would want and make sure you let customers know the reality, the pros and cons of projection as an everyday TV. So please do that when you do your review. But here's why our laser projection technology, and specifically the LS500, is better than, than any other brand that's on the market today. Number one, it's a three-chip projector. It is not DLP. This is a true three-chip 3 LCD projector, very similar to the technology we use in our very high-end dedicated home theater projectors, which are the top selling products in the market right now. So this is a similar- about that. He's talking about the Epson 6050 guys. Yeah. For everybody out there that watches our YouTube videos, you gotta check out, if you're looking for a standard overhead projector, that Epson 6050, we are, are in love with that unit. Yeah, it is. It has set the benchmark for high dynamic range performance in a projector because of the brightness, and that's not even close to being bright compared to the LS500. So when you can take that three LCD engine and you push four thousand lumens through it right up against the wall, and you're using a laser light source that can pulse the light so that we can optimize the black density, the combination of the of that brightness, the way we handle the blacks with pulsing the laser light source along with the way we have developed that type of unit, the brightness and color performance is off the scale compared to any other projector out there. The other reason why it's unique is that it's using something called 4K Pro UHD. This is a different type of pixel shifting technology that takes the input and can give you a 4K experience that doesn't limit the brightness so that you can still have an awesome HDR performance at the same time. So a lot of native 4K projectors, and we sell native 4K projectors too, by the way, you, because, it, because of the way that technology works, you either have to make the projector really big, or if you want to make a projector that's somewhat small, like we've done with the LS500, the brightness gets cut quite a bit. So now you may have the resolution on the screen, but you don't have enough brightness, definitely couldn't use it as an everyday TV, you're now back into a dark room, and then HDR doesn't work, right? So what's unique about the 6050 you mentioned earlier, and more importantly, the LS500, we're now able to deliver a 4K experience that looks ridiculously sharp and clear on the screen, and we didn't lose any of the brightness for both color and white. Now HDR can shine, and it looks epic. So I'm a gamer. I'm a pretty big gamer and I have the new Xbox Series X, uh, PlayStation 5, I'm still trying to get my PS5, but I got an Xbox Series X. And it sees the LS500 Laser TV as a native 4K projector running at 60 hertz um, with HDR on all at the same time. Now you gotta make sure you have the, the faster cable connected to our projector and your gaming device, but that gives you an idea of how awesome 4K Pro HD tech is. And it, trust me, when you're gaming at 60 frames per second on 100 inch, with HDR at 4K, it is, it is awesome. It is really awesome. So those two things, the resolution technology, 4K per UHD with the high dynamic range component we have implemented, along with that three chip, three LCD, which gives you that ridiculously bright color and white, is why this is completely different than any other laser short throw that's out there in the market. So when you do your side by sides, it's gonna come really apparent. Um, and, and you'll see when you do your tests. Awesome. Well, Kellen, tell them about some of these tests and let them know why they need to subscribe to the channel. Yeah, so, um, I mean, first and foremost, uh, we're going to be doing the LS500, but we're also going to be doing a shootout comparing it to the uh, Premier, uh, the, the triple laser version with Samsung. Uh, we've got a Bava uh, coming as well. Uh, maybe the LE, uh, LG uh, Ultra Short Throw. So we're going to have uh, quite a bit of tests and um, doing some side-by-sides and uh, 
yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it because I know the LS 500, uh, when I turned it on, you know, making sure everything's working properly uh, is very bright. And um, just seeing that brightness compared to the others when turning it on, uh, I know it's going to be an incredible image. So can't wait to get them fired up, uh, showing the same, you know, scenes of movies, different photos, yeah. uh, just doing some live action content with all of these and giving them my thoughts in real time. Uh, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be interesting. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so are we at Epson. We like what you guys do over at Dream Media, so I'm excited to see your side-by-side. -side. I think that helps a lot of customers out it's when they make a decision what to buy, is seeing a true side-by-side. -side. Anywhere else. You know, you really can't go into a store and just have three or four projectors lined up side-by-side. -side. Um, so I agree. We, we really you know, appreciate all y'all's business, and we're going to continue to give you this content so that you can make an educated buying decision. I mean, with Epson, it always comes down to value and performance. You guys have heard me state it many, many, many times on the channel, and I'm sure this product's gonna hold up to that. All right, well, I appreciate you guys hopping on this Zoom meeting and educating our clients. I hope you have a great day. Thanks, everyone. All right, guys, that is a wrap on our introduction with the Epson guys on the LS500. I'm just super excited to offer this product to you guys. I think the ultra short throw game the projection game in combination with these ALR screens, the ultra short throw ambient light rejecting screens that we have to offer is really going to change what we think of as home theater. You know that dedicated home cinema is still going to be a thing for super advanced surround sound configurations. And we're more than happy to offer that to you guys. But I think this is going to play a really important role in the home theater industry over these next couple years, especially as all of the theaters, commercial theaters have been closing down due to COVID. We've seen a huge spike in consumer requests and we're going to continue to evolve and offer the industry leading products to you guys. You got to subscribe to our YouTube channel because Kellen is going to be killing it. I'm sending him all the best, all of the competitors at least. We're gonna have the Vava, the LG, we're gonna have the Samsung, all of the industry ultra short throw projectors and we're gonna be comparing it next to the LS500, which I believe is gonna be a real, uh, one of our best sellers. I mean, Epson is known for value and performance and I'm sure they're gonna deliver. Well, if you guys would like to purchase, make sure to reach out and show your support. We have nationwide free shipping and the lowest price guaranteed. We have everything you need, whether it's AVRs, speakers, universal remotes, cabling for everything in between, we have you covered, as well as a preferred installer network that we're working on building up throughout all the major cities in the country. And then we have a free consultation service. So don't hesitate to reach out guys. We would love the opportunity to earn your business and find something specifically tailored to your needs and budget. All right. Well, that's all I got for you till next time. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.